ERP software vendors are all talking about AI. AI is a hot thing right now in the enterprise tech space, but is AI a real thing and how does it affect ERP software? That's what I want to talk about here today. My name is Eric Kimberling. I'm the CEO of Third Stage Consulting. We're an independent consulting firm that helps clients throughout the world with their digital transformation and ERP implementation journeys. And as we're helping clients select and implement new ERP software here in 2024, we find that all the major ERP software vendors are talking about AI. They're talking about the possibilities and the capabilities they're building within artificial intelligence. And even in cases where the software vendor hasn't really built the capabilities, they're already starting to market their future state vision of how they're gonna use AI. So what I wanna to do today is dive into how real AI is, what it means to your potential ERP software selection, as well as what it means to your ERP implementation. Before we dive too far into today's content, I wanna invite you to learn a little bit more about Third Stage Consulting, who we are and what we do. I've included a link to a video right here that describes Third Stage in a bit more detail. It talks about our story, our history, our philosophy, our clients, our service offerings, and that sort of thing. But in general, what Third Stage Consulting does is we're an independent and tech agnostic consulting provider. We help clients through their entire digital transformation life cycles, beginning with digital strategy, software evaluation and selection, all the way through and including implementation planning, implementation readiness, and the actual implementation itself. We're technology agnostic, so we only represent our clients' best interests. We do not represent software vendors. But having said that, we work very closely with software vendors, all the leading players that you can imagine we've worked with both in helping clients evaluate and select them, but also in helping clients implement those solutions as well. So we have a very broad objective agnostic view of the market that is meant to really represent your interest as you go through your digital transformation. I also encourage you to scan this QR code right here to get access to our resource center. This resource center has a ton of information, ton of eBooks that are free. You have access to top 10 software rankings, playbooks for how to make your project more successful guides to change management, YouTube videos, all kinds of stuff that are gonna help you through your digital transformation. So I encourage you to scan this QR code to get access to those resources. And please feel free to reach out to me directly to brainstorm ideas about your project. Even if it's just informally, you wanna bounce around some ideas and get some informal advice, I'd be happy to spend some time with you. So feel free to reach out to me. I've included my contact information below. You can also find it in the description field of this video as well. Now, the first way that AI is changing and improving ERP software as we know it is that it's allowing organizations to finally take advantage of all this data they've been accumulating for years and decades in many cases. If you think about organizations going back to the 60s, we're starting to automate their business processes, starting to automate their data capture. And certainly that trend accelerated in the 70s and 80s into the 90s. And I'd say starting since the 90s, most organizations were on some sort of electronic computer system starting to collect data. So you've got at least 30 to 40 years plus of organizational history that a lot of organizations have that have been around for a long time, but they haven't known what to do with this data. They've had dirty data, they've had trouble mapping it, migrating it to new systems as they've done upgrades. So that's been a problem in the past, but now with AI, if we can get our data right, it gives us a way to actually make use of that data. So instead of just having reams and reams of transactional data going back 30 years, now we can use AI to make more sense and more meaning of it. We can also use predictive analytics and machine learning and other aspects and subcomponents of AI to help us predict the future and understand what might happen based on some of our historic data. And it's not just our internal data that AI within ERP software is allowing us to take advantage of, it's also third party sources of data. So if we can look at external macroeconomic indicators or weather patterns or other things that might affect our business, we can take those data sets and integrate it with our core internal data and then use AI models to help predict the future. So as more ERP software vendors continue to build up their AI capabilities, more of them are going to find ways to improve the way organizations are getting value from AI. I'd say the lowest hanging fruit for AI within ERP software systems and the deployments that go along with them, as we know it today, is going to be generative and conversational AI. And if you don't know what that is, it's essentially the component of AI that allows you to talk to the system or type a question within a system and have a conversation rather than having to go into a system, go to a specific report, or go to a specific set of transactions to find the data you're looking for. If any of you have tried or used ChatGPT, for example, 
that's an example of conversational AI. You can type within ChatGPT a question or ask it to analyze something and it's gonna come back with a response. You don't have to go Google a bunch of results. You don't have to go into your ERP system to pull a bunch of data. And this is where a lot of ERP software vendors are starting. They're starting with these conversational AI models that sit on top of their ERP platform in the ERP database to allow you to interact with the system in a different way. So you don't have to memorize where you need to go, what screen you need to go to, what field you need to fill out. You can type in a set of questions or a description of what you're looking for, and that conversational AI interface will allow you to receive that information accordingly. So as we look to where we are right now in the maturity curve of AI within ERP software, conversational and generative AI is probably the furthest along, and that's where a lot of software vendors are providing some capabilities there. So look for this as a way to really automate and streamline and change the way employees use and interact with your systems in your data going forward. Now, in addition to generative and conversational AI, there's other creative uses of AI that are being used by ERP software vendors and some of the more innovative companies that are deploying ERP systems. One example is just being able to analyze data in unique ways. So if we've always had a report that was run a certain way or showed a certain set of data, not only can we now just conversationally ask the AI interface for that same information without having to go create a report manually, now we could ask it to go a step further and create a graph that compares different subsets of data or create a visual representation in a way that we haven't done before. So it really allows us and allows employees within our organizations to think outside the box of how we could be using these ERP systems and the data within them to capture information and to analyze information and create outputs in different ways than we ever have. And this is where it becomes really important to not just deploy AI and assume that people are gonna figure out how to do that, this is where when we define our future state, we need to be creative about figuring out how are we gonna use the AI capabilities either within our ERP system or a third party AI solution that allows us to provide that information and those capabilities to our employees. So in other words, we can't assume that our employees are just gonna figure out and come to the right answer by accident. We have to paint a vision for them of how they might use AI to get to information faster and to be more creative in how they deploy and use AI within their ERP systems. Now, it's important to recognize that as we're talking about ERP software and AI, it's not just the AI capabilities that are being built within the ERP systems themselves that you have as an option. You also have the option of a standalone AI solution. And there's a lot of AI vendors out there, a lot of upstarts and startups that are creating AI solutions that can be bolted onto or worked within a certain technical landscape. For example, you have AI solutions that are allowing you to access data from multiple systems, and it's allowing you to analyze that data, create outputs, and create some of the analyses and predictive analytics and some of the forecasting that AI affords, but it's not necessarily something you have to rely on the ERP software vendor to provide. You can also go find third-party AI providers that can provide some of those capabilities especially if you're working with a software vendor that's still building those capabilities. It doesn't quite have the AI maturity as a standalone AI solution. So when you're evaluating ERP systems, it may be worth not only looking at the AI capabilities of whatever system you're looking at, but also look at the third-party AI solutions that might work with that ERP system as well as other legacy systems that you are going to retain for a short period or perhaps even permanently on top of any new ERP system you might deploy. So be sure to consider your full options when you're deploying ERP software in terms of how you might use AI. Now, what's really interesting about AI and ERP software is that it sort of triangulates itself or comes together with another trend in the market, which is the movement to the cloud. ERP software vendors are, for the most part, in mass moving to the cloud. They've transitioned their on-premise legacy systems or are in the process of transitioning those systems to cloud solutions that are largely rewrites of that legacy software. And the beauty here, in addition to other benefits of deploying cloud technology, is it, it really enables AI in a way that we haven't seen before. So if you think about your old legacy systems and some of the security issues you might have had and some of the silos of data, the lack of interconnectivity that you might have had, the dirty data, it didn't really lend itself well to really capitalize on AI in the way we can today. 
fast forward to cloud solutions now, you've got a standard data model, standard business processes, less likelihood of corrupting the data because now you have standard processes to manage that data. And you've got all your data now presumably in one place in the cloud. And that's where AI really shines because now AI can be used and rely upon more reliable data to help fuel the models and help provide information and help provide value that AI can afford. The other component that's really interesting is as we look to third party data sources, especially as we look at things like Internet of Things and wearables and other devices that are capturing data outside of our four walls of our organization. Now with cloud computing, we can capture that data and integrate that data with our internal data to further enable those AI models. So there's a lot happening in the cloud space that is really accelerating the trend towards AI. And it's really a sort of a perfect storm or a perfect backdrop for AI to really take off and to continue to gain adoption and mainstream use within the ERP software space, which is largely why the ERP software vendors are investing so heavily in AI right now. So I hope this has provided you some understanding of how AI is affecting and improving ERP systems. More importantly, I hope it's helped provide some context of how you might use AI within your ERP software deployment to be more effective and get more business value. If you'd like to learn more about trends that are happening in the marketplace, and things to be aware of and things to understand as you go through your ERP implementation, I encourage you to read our annual digital transformation report. It's a report we publish each year that covers a number of tips and lessons from ERP implementations as well as trends in the marketplace, as well as independent reviews and rankings of different enterprise technology and ERP solutions. So you can read that report by scanning the QR code in front of you and you can read that for free off our website using the QR code in front of you. So I hope you found this information useful and hope you have a great day.